Hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's object talk. My name is Emma and I'm an engagement officer at the Jewish Museum in London. And this week you are joining me for an object talk on a letter from the Second World War that comes from the collection of the Jewish Military Museum. This letter is one of over 40,000 objects in the Jewish Museum London's designated collection that shows the diversity of Jewish history and life. Our programmes explore the unique and diverse voices of Jewish communities and connections between faiths and cultures. I am now going to share with you an image of the letter that I have chosen for this week's talk. I've chosen this letter because it fits into our monthly theme of support. In this theme, we are exploring the support given by um, soldiers to their countries, linking into the theme of remembrance, and also the support between different communities. This letter shows the support of one man, Sergeant Emmanuel Barbanel, who served in the Second World War. But in addition to this, it also shares the story of the support given by local Jewish communities to Jewish soldiers on active service during the Second World War, celebrating a religious festival away from their family and their own community. This is a handwritten letter by Sergeant Emmanuel Barbanel, which spreads over five pages. We are currently looking at the first page of this letter and we can see it is addressed to Rene, a young friend of the family. Emmanuel, or Manny, as he was known to his friends, had been born on the 19th of January 1904 in London. In 1931, he married Jane and they lived together in Heath Street, Mile End Old Town. Emmanuel worked as a tailor's presser and his wife as a hotel waitress. When war broke out, he served with the 8th Army in North Africa. In this particular letter, he says that his unit arrived in Tripoli on the 23rd of January 1943 and celebrated Passover there. This celebration clearly stuck with him. We can see the letter is dated to the 29th of June and yet the, I would say the majority of this letter is dedicated to describing in great detail the events that took place, his celebration of the festival of Passover. However, before we look at his description of this celebration, I would like to look at this first page in more detail because it gives us the context with which this celebration took place. The letter begins by describing the arrival of their unit to Tripoli in January 1943. They found the place almost deserted as the local population had fled to the hills. As we can see in this snippet here, the local population had been told by the Germans that our troops, the Allies, were worse than anything imaginable. We can also see it says the Germans before they left wanted the Jewish population massacred. They wanted the Italians to carry this out, but they refused. He writes that the Italians threatened that if anything like this was started, they would take the part of the ghettos. Unable to order the Italian soldiers to carry out this Jewish massacre, Manny writes that the departing German army left ammunition with the local Arab population, bombs, grenades, ETC, in the hope that they would do what the Italians had refused to do. But the troops arrived too rapidly for this, Manny writes, referring to his own regiment. And he describes how close this was. The German army had left around 9 a.m. and his regiment arrived around 3 p.m. the same day. Now, we of course do not know if this local population would have carried out the Jewish massacre. We cannot know. But this, it really does demonstrate this letter, just how close the Jewish population of Tripoli had come to being massacred that year before Passover. And it was in this context that they began to celebrate the festival of Passover, a festival that celebrates freedom. Provisions for this festival were very limited when they arrived in Tripoli and all transport was reserved for that of supplies. 
So Manny was away from his family for one of the most important festivals of the Jewish year with limited supplies and transport. And this is where the local Jewish community, the community who had just a few months earlier escaped massacre and hidden in the hills from his advancing regiment, stepped in to support the Jewish troops. Manny writes that the civilian Jewish population had asked the military for permission to host any Jewish soldiers who would like to join a family Seder meal. He took up this offer along with two other Jewish soldiers in his unit. He says that the man who welcomed them to his home could speak no English or Yiddish. In addition, he and his friends could not speak Italian. So as we can see in this section, he writes, to put it mildly, conversation flagged <laughs> and in his letter he wished that he had not been so delinquent in his Hebrew lessons. They were then taken to Shul where there were over 200 people at the service. However he expresses his surprise that there were no women there nor any accommodation for them in the synagogue. This is the first mention of the differences he noticed between his community at home and the community he found himself part of there. After the service, he went back to the family home for the Seder meal. He found it extraordinary that despite the shortage of commodities, they found enough to celebrate the Seder meal. He summed it up as wonderful, I think. He then describes continuing celebrations in Cairo with another Jewish family and their Ashkenazi synagogue there. In the letter, he says he had become very great friends with the family when he was stationed in Cairo before. When his unit was moved to Cairo again, he was given leave for Passover and visited them once more. Now, Mani was Sephardi. His family could trace their roots back to the readmission of 1665. And this letter shows his intrigue in experiencing a celebration for Passover in an Ashkenazi synagogue. He writes that he found their synagogue a lovely place, that he had not seen any in England to compare with it. The tunes were new to him, as was the amount and type of ritual there. He writes that he found the ark so beautiful, it was impossible to describe. He then joined the family for a Seder meal, but found many traditional foods were missing. These included bitter herbs, salt water, and an egg. He was puzzled by this and writes that the only reason he can think of was that it felt strange for the Jewish community to celebrate with things that symbolized freedom from Egypt whilst in Egypt. Now, Manny survived the war and returned to his family in London. He had experienced a different Passover to what he was used to in his own community at home. For the month of October, we celebrated the diversity of Judaism across the globe, the many different cultures and traditions that exist within that religion today. Manny got a chance to experience a practice of Judaism that differed from his own. And what I find very powerful from this letter is his sense of wonder, his interest in the differences, the amazement at the synagogue building, the intrigue into different Passover food and traditions, and the unfamiliar rituals. He shows great respect and gratitude for the family and community who welcomed him and invited him to share with them in this very special festival. And for me, this letter represents a wider picture of different Jewish communities supporting each other, welcoming members of a community different to their own, who are separated from their families, and worshipping and celebrating together. Manny's letter gives us an excellent insight into one example, but it is by no means unique, as Jewish soldiers were welcomed by local Jewish communities around the world during the First and Second World War. And it is something we still see around the world today. Jewish communities joining together and reaching out to those in need. It is especially prominent during this difficult time. So thank you so much for joining me on for, for this object talk, exploring the theme of support. Do join us again next week for our first object talk of December, where our monthly theme will be light. We will see you there.